Okay, we're out in the workshop and I just finished the electric washboard here. I mean, I guess technically I finished it a few days ago. I'm just finally getting around to it. But um, so what I did here, um, this is the washboard that I got at the Pennsylvania Cigar Box Guitar Festival. I bought this from Magic Daddy. If um, most of you might, or some of you in this, this community might be familiar with him. Um, and then uh, I electrified it. I'll show that in just a second. But um, first things first, I kind of finished it um, with this kind of whitewash look. And what I did is I just did a really crappy paint job. Um, I used white spray paint and I just did a really bad paint job. And in a couple of spots, um, I, I, my paint was too good, so I distressed it. Um, like this spot here, you can see I kind of um, distressed it with some sandpaper. And uh, it ended up looking real nice. It's nice and weathered. Um, same thing on the back. So on the back here, you see that there's the top of a cigar box I used to cover the controls. Behind there, there's a pickup. Um, and then the pots and the capacitors that are used for this circuit and the jack, of course. Um, this is a volume knob and a tone knob. I used some of the most ridiculous looking knobs I could think of because this thing is ridiculous. Um, and then the, uh, the bottom half of the box made a nice little parts tray over here. So I've got that sitting around. Um, and then I wanted to add a couple other things. So this is a tin cup here. Um, I think this one's from Nevada or something, but this is just a standard tin cup that I hung on there as a, you know, percussion. And then this is a bike bell. And I'm actually, you can see there, the bike bell is just kind of, you know, screwed on to the side. And the bottom part that would go around the handlebar is what I used down here to hang, well, let's see if we can get an angle on that. There you go, to hang uh, the cup. So that actually worked out pretty nice and that's about the size of it. So this is my little washboard. Um, obviously the pickup doesn't pick up the cup or the bell, but that's okay. Those are typically loud enough and um, you know, it could be played unplugged of course, but I wanted to do that um, so you could get a, uh, you know, you could plug it in if you needed to amplify it or record it or something like that. Now, I mean, it actually works pretty good. We'll do an electric clip in just a second, but first let's just try a little acoustic clip here. Okay. So here we go. We got the washboard here and, um, here's the bell over here so you can ring it. Um, another thing that's kind of cool though, if you grab it, you just get a kind of percussive sound or you can just hit it, you know, so there's a few different things you can do with that. And of course the cup, you can hit that. Um, and I've got a harmonica here. So, um, again, no experience playing the washboard. Uh, I took some thimbles from the uh, wife's sewing kit here, so hopefully she didn't get mad at me. Um, but uh, here we go. Let's just try something just to see what it sounds like. So here you go, the moment we've been waiting for, the electric washboard. So I've got her turned, uh, plugged in here to the amp. Um, everything, volume and tone are both up. Got the thimbles on here. So if we tap it, you can hear right away. Um, you can tell that's coming through the amp off to my right here. So what's cool about it is if you roll the gain down a little, you get, it cleans it up a lot. It's not so dirty. And then if you want to like roll off that click, you can kind of roll the tone down. And even if you bring the volume back up. So it's actually pretty functional, um, but I like it best when you got them both cranking and it's just, yeah, it's just like full on. So there we go. It's the electric washboard. Um, very simple, just a uh, guitar pickup, a couple of pots, um, a few accessories. There we go, all ready for the jug band.